I appreciate this opportunity. Let's put the proposed right-of-way ordinance in context. The FCC and telecom wish to interpret the Telecommunications Act of 1996 broadly and expansively to encompass broadband technology, which did not exist back in 1996. To them, personal wireless service means whatever they want it to mean, whether that is 5G, 10G, or 20G. As they seek to deploy the latest thing in their quest for profits, they hypocritically insist that the RF radiation exposure standards established under the Telecommunications Act for mobile phones back in 1996 are immutably written in stone and shall not be reconsidered in light of the new technology they seek to deploy. The FCC was ordered back in August of 2021 to respond to the 11,000 pages of scientific evidence that was submitted documenting the health impacts of RF radiation on living things. They ruled that the FCC's hand-waving dismissal of the evidence was arbitrary and capricious. And while the FCC continues to thumb its nose at the court when it comes to the reevaluation of the RF radiation exposure standards, they rely on they rely on another expansive reading of the TCA to make it unlawful to prohibit the deployment of wireless communications facilities based on health concerns. It is Orwellian that it is against the law to consider health concerns related to wireless communication facilities. This is where we stand today. Telecom seeks to, to deploy anything they want as long as the RF radiation emitted falls below the dangerously outdated exposure standards of 1996. And lawmakers like yourselves don't dare to even mention the potential harms this may cause. This is censorship, pure and simple. That is why it is critical that you pass a strong right-of-way ordinance that establishes objective criteria for the planning director to evaluate whether the applicant has provided probative evidence to show that they have a significant gap in service and are proposing the least intrusive means for meeting that gap. Thank you very much. Thank you.